Guys, it's Saturday morning. Now I know like all of you, your day is filled with laundry, cleaning, shopping, everything else. Now I'm very busy all week, so it's kind of difficult to get any baking done or anything like that. So what I love to do on a Saturday morning, I mean, as you can see, I'm still in my sweats. I love to bake a little something like muffins or some kind of sweet bread so that it's kind of ready for me during the week for breakfast because my husband and I are very busy leaving work early, different schedules. One of us picks up an apple, another one of us picks up a fruit bar, you name it. So doing something like this on a weekend, having it ready really, really helps you a lot. So what I'm gonna make is a banana bread. This was also a suggestion from a really sweet girl named Jessica. She's gonna make it for her mom. And it's simple, 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 amazing. You know, like I said, you can snack on it all weekend. You can have it for breakfast during the week. You're good to go. First thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350. Get that out of the way. Second thing you wanna do is take a nine, um, a nine by five inch baking pan just like that, loaf pan. I've sprayed it and put the, some parchment paper at the bottom so that it, I can ensure that it comes out easily and then just spray the sides a little bit. This is just some nonstick cooking spray. Now, taking a stick of butter, let me run through the ingredients for you first. We have some all-purpose flour, you have some sugar, butter, eggs, bananas, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, vanilla extract, milk, maple syrup. Now what we're going to do is taking one stick of butter, unsalted room temperature, very important, and I'm going to cream that together with the sugar. My butter and sugar are creamed together and I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. Always break them to a separate bowl just in case you get a bad egg. My butter, egg, and sugar mixture is perfect. Now I'm gonna do the bananas. Now, what you have here are some bananas that are a little bit on the non-pretty side because what you want is for your bananas to be kind of, not brown, but you want them to be, you don't want them to be green or bright yellow because they won't have much flavor and they'll be very, very hard. And I don't mush them too much because the, food, the, um, the mixer does all the work for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use four bananas. Lightly, I'm going to just mash them up lightly like that, just to give them a head start. Now you could use, um, you could put nuts in this, you could put raisins in this, you could even put chocolate chips in this, but this is your basic recipe and I'm gonna feed this to my niece today, so I don't want her to choke on a piece of nut because she's very, she's very small, she's only two. So I'm omitting the nuts but this is still gonna be really good. And apart from it being so good, you know, it's the weekend, it makes your house smell so good, you have people coming over, it just smells welcoming, smells homey, it's unbelievable, it's really good. Last banana. Beautiful, like so. Putting it in, and now with the mixer on medium, let it go for just a minute or so until everything is really nice and combined and the bananas are really nicely mushed together. Now that is what you want. It kind of looks like curled eggs, but that's what you want. It smells so, so good. Now I'm going to add some vanilla extract, just a tiny bit, not much, about a half a teaspoon. Just mixing it for a second. And now we're going to add our dry ingredients. I'm going to add the flour, the baking powder and baking soda, the cinnamon and the salt. Now you're thinking, why are you putting salt in here? Well, you put salt in savory dishes to bring the flavors out of the ingredients and you put it in sweet dishes for the exact same reason. It really brings out the flavor in each ingredient. So mix this up and then we're gonna add a little bit of milk. Just gonna add in a tiny bit of milk, about a tablespoon. And that's it. It smells delicious, looks wonderful. Now you're wondering, what are you gonna happen to the maple syrup and the other stick of butter? That's gonna be for my maple butter to spread on top. Yup, it's gonna get even better. Just give it one less stir with a spatula, just from the bottom to make sure everything is well combined. Put it into your prepared loaf pan. And 
this is going to go into your preheated oven for about an hour. Check it on the 50 minute mark. Just put a toothpick in the center. If it comes out clean, it's done. You don't want to over bake it though. So just keep an eye on it. Even it out. Wonderful. Into the oven and when it comes out, we're going to make our maple butter and we're going to spread it on top and we're going to be in heaven. Guys, I took this out of the oven and I let it cool for about 20 minutes. Now, taking it out of my pan, as you can see, it's beautiful and the parchment paper really, really ensures that it doesn't stick. It comes out like a glove. So now I'm going to make my maple butter to spread on top. I have a stick of unsalted butter. Make sure it's really at room temperature. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons of maple syrup. And I'm just going to mix this together. You could also do the same thing with honey if you don't have maple syrup. But maple syrup really tastes amazing. So just mix this together until it's nicely combined. Now I have to show you what the inside looks like. It's still really, really warm. Oh, look at that. I can really smell it. It's amazing. Put it on the plate. I'm going to just spread over a tiny bit of this maple butter. Goodness, I can smell it. Oh, it's melting right in there. Oh, I need to cut myself a little piece. Have to do it. Oh my goodness. That is the best recipe for banana bread that you will ever, ever try. Just trust me, it's unbelievable. It's so moist, full of flavor. It's not at all bready and heavy and dense really light and delicious. Make this recipe. I guarantee you will love it. Let me know how you like it. To get this recipe and other recipes, check out my website, www.learnthekitchen.com. And I have to go because I got to keep eating this. Bye-bye.